hey guys how are you today so I am geared up as y'all can see I'm all comfy and stuff like that um as we know it is the new year so happy new years once again it's just Tuesday just the third so I'm excited that we have made it into 2017 a lot of you guys have been here with me since last year so welcome back um, and I have a lot of new people who are finding my page so I'm really excited about that I know 2017 is going to be amazing number one is because nobody's really talk about herpes consistently number two no black chickens talk about herpes and number three is because it's just time for change okay so with that being said guys I am really excited to talk about what I'm talking about today. Um, I have been given a list like if, I don't know if y'all can see this junk. <laughs> I got a long list of stuff that my support group have told me they want me to talk about. So with that being said, I'm going to work from this list within this this month. As y'all know, we're getting three videos a month. I mean, three videos a week. So with that being said, I'm going to work from these videos. I'm going to try to make sure they're in sequence so it kind of makes sense weeks to week. And y'all kind of like, okay, she's just throwing whatever out there. But y'all know me. I'm kind of random sometimes. Um, whatever puts on my heart to talk about that I typically talk about. But today, I think this is a really, really good one because this is something that, number one, coming out of the door as soon as you get your diet diagnosis is hard to do um and as you go on within having this virus it's really hard to do especially if you don't have anybody to talk to no support or just negativity coming your way or you just viewing yourself this is just something super super hard to do and people ask me this all the time how do you do this how do you stay like this all the time it's like when you talk on the phone with you you like that when we see you in the videos you like that how are you like that all the time and I'm going to explain to you guys how I'm going to give y'all three like main areas or elements that's the most important or why I am the way I am and how you can be the same way so the topic today is remaining positive a lot of you guys always ask me, how are you so positive and so bubbly and things like that? Number one, guys, I am like this, period. This is just the type of person I am. I was like this before this, and I'm like this after this. I didn't want to change my character. A lot of us allow herpes to change who we are. It's just a virus. It doesn't change you, guys. It shouldn't change you at all. Uh, we all know people who have other elements or other things going on in their, in their lives or in their bodies or in their minds. Um... And they try their best to not let it change them. I'm sure you know somebody in your family, somebody who had something, and you was like, oh my God, I can't believe they're so positive after all of this. They should be like down and out. I'll be down and out, you know, type thing. But you got to understand, people... We, as a people, we have the ability to choose. And a lot of us, are. it's so easy to choose negative than it is to choose positive. It's easy to be negative, easy to be depressed, it's easy to be panic attacks, it's easy to have anxiety, it's easy to stress. But it is very, very difficult to be positive and happy and cheerful and compassionate and loving and supportive and all these other things when we have other things going on. It's very easy to fall into a pity party. It's so easy to get to a point where we just want to be like, oh, I feel so bad. It's, it's easy. And I understand and why? Because number one, herpes is not something nobody wants to deal with. Nobody wants to deal with an STD. When you just say STD, it's like, ooh. Like, nobody wants to deal with that at all. Um, and it causes so much mental stress, physical stress, spiritual stress in so many different areas. And a lot of us are just struggling there. It's not the virus that's really bothering us. It's just the thought of the virus that's bothering us. It's just like, oh my God, I cannot believe I'm here. Like, I can't believe my life is like this. Oh my God, my life is over. And guys, you're not dying. Okay, if you were dying, then I mean you could talk about something totally different, but you're not dying So I want y'all to stop acting like you're dying and start just looking at it from a different Perspective, okay, because a lot of you guys perspective is really negative and that's your reason for not being able to overcome this Not able to fight this not to able to manage it not to be able to move forward and have a successful relationship Have children all these things is because your perspective of is negative period so my whole thing is changing your perspective I'm hoping after you watch this video that you change your perspective and you take the time to change it I'm not telling you it's going to happen tomorrow y'all hear me say that all the time I never want to feed y'all um 
feed y'all. Uh, you watch my video once and oh my God, your life is going to be different. I don't want to ever feed y'all. You do exactly what I tell you today. And your life is going to be different in two seconds. I'm not a voila person. Nothing in life is voila. Everything is hard work. Everything is, is you putting in the effort and the putting in the faith and putting in the tears and putting in the sweat and putting in all of that. So I want you to know that you're going to have to work on this. I don't care what you have to do. If that's watching this video over and over and over and over and over again, cool. But at the end of the day, you can watch my video all day. And if you don't do your personal work, then it's pointless. I'm being honest. It's going to be so pointless because I talked to so many people and I have talked to them over a year and they're still stuck from the year last year. And I'm wondering like, why are you still stuck? And I realize it's their perspective. Their perspective is so messed up. It's negative. And I can't change their perspective. They must change their perspective. So today, guys, I want you to make a conscious decision that I want to change my perspective on how I'm living with herpes. It doesn't have to be negative. It doesn't have to be focused on everybody else. Right now, this time of this year, you need to focus on you. Right now, you're the one who's living with the virus. Nobody else. Don't worry about nobody else. You are living with the virus. So right now, focus on you, your perspective, your health, your mental uh, your mental state, your physical state, your spiritual state. You focus on that. Nobody else can change nothing about you. And, and I've come to learn that people do not want to change nothing. I have come to learn that um, it hurts my heart. But at the end of the day, people do not want change. They want change to just happen. I'm sorry. Y'all all know nothing just happens. You have to allow it to happen. Um, or some things... That Okay, God, we're going to be real. It is some things that just happen in our lives. I want some, some people take stuff out of context. So with that being said, let me make that clear. Things, some stuff in our lives are, are happen to us. And then there's some things in our life, and most, more, most of the stuff in our lives that we can control. And I want us to get into the point, get into a standpoint of controlling our lives. Because a lot of us have not been controlling our lives. We have been flowing with our lives. We have been allowing things to just go with the flow. And I'm tired of that, honestly. We need to really get out the flow of life and you need to control it because a lot of us are not happy with our lives at all. Like it may not it may just be in your dating life. It may be just in your spiritual life. It may just be in your physical life. You like you don't really like your body. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I don't like my body right now because I am it's the biggest I ever been in my life. Okay, I have been pregnant twice. Okay guys I have lost the weight and I have gained the weight back. When I hurt my knee that was the worst because I gained my weight back. I was losing weight. I was feeling great. I was doing everything right and I just got really really sad <laughs> and I was like, freak it. I'm not going to do anything. I'm going to eat crap and I'm not going to work out and I'm not going to stretch and I'm not going to do anything because I don't care. I'm pissed, you know, type thing. That was just my own little pity party about where I was in my life at that given moment. And that was last September. So I was really upset about the fact of that happened to me. I wasn't expecting it. I hurt my knee working out, guys. So I was really, really pissed. And who fault was that? Number one is because I was rushing my body. Number two is because I did not stretch properly. And number three is because I didn't take the time to change my perspective and say, okay, Belize, let's get back up and don't quit. No, I quit, okay? So with the same thing with herpes, guys, to remain positive number one you have to change your mindset y'all hear this from everything from finances to spiritual life to to everything to physical want to work out or whatever we hear this all the time you must change your mindset and it's happened the same reason why we're here is because we must change our mindset okay herpes is is really it, it is bad but it's not as bad as it can be okay number one i want y'all to understand Yes, it, it is horrible. I, I'm telling you, it really is a bad thing, but it's only bad because you worry about the outer, not really the inner. And I'm going to explain that. We worry about the outer more. And when I mean outer, I mean what people say, what people think, um, what people say, what people think. That's the biggest thing with our outer. And we focus on that so much that we would neglect our inner. And our inner determines, uh, it's going to, when you work on your inner, you're not really going to care about the outer as much. 
you know, your outer is going to change. And I think a lot of us are neglecting that. So our inner is our mindset. It's how we feel about ourselves, how we think about ourselves, how we treat ourselves, what we say to ourselves, what we think about daily, what we think about uh, minute by minute by minute, second by second. It's the people we're around. It's the think of things we feed ourselves with. It's all of that. My whole thing is look at your mindset right now when it, it comes to herpes. How do you think? When it comes to herpes, guys, I'm sorry, I think you're looking outside because people are walking past. So, with that being said, what is your mindset when it comes to herpes? And honestly, I need you to take time and figure out what is your mindset when it comes to herpes because a lot of y'all mindset, once again, is very negative. And then I hear, I'm sure I'm hearing y'all say, well, police feel my life, it ruined my life, it ruined my dating life. No, I really did it. You chose that. And I want y'all to understand everything is a choice. Everything is a choice. Your life doesn't have to be ruined. Example, when you got in that really, really bad relationship, I know some women who have been in abusive relationships, did you let that keep you from getting back out here and finding somebody else? Some of y'all can say yes, and some of y'all can say no. Why? It's because of your perspective. You say, you know what? I'm pissed. I can't stand him. I do still hate him. I'm not saying that you still don't. A lot of y'all still hate him. And that's a process. I'm not telling you, like, oh, just get over it. No, hell no. He he was beating you. That's not easy to get over, okay? So with that being said, you just chose, look, okay, I was in a messed up situation. I'm going to forgive myself. I did not do anything to him. But I want love. So I'm going to move forward, going to heal myself and move forward. And then some people are stuck. They can't get over the fact of what happened to them. They blame themselves for allowing those things to happen to them, okay? Which I don't believe, ladies, you should blame yourself, and guys included, because some guys are really getting their butt toe out the frame by some women. So I'm not going to just say me, uh, women, men included. So with that being said, I'm really against the domestic violence, guys, y'all can see. But at the end of the day, um, at the end, it's a choice. And I want y'all to understand, same here with herpes, you have a choice to live a good life, the life that you always want to live or live in this life where the stigma want to keep us. So you got your choice. The stigma saying that we're we're the nasty, disgusting, we don't deserve love, that we basically should just sit in a little cage and nobody should touch us. We shouldn't be in society. And then over here is your regular life that you want an amazing husband or wife, that you want to have kids, that you want to be happy with your career and finances and all that stuff, da, 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 stuff. Okay. So my whole thing is which one are you going to choose? The stigma, which we all hate and we're trying to fight, or are you going to live the life that you always wanted to live? Live. Your choice, okay, is your choice. I cannot decide that for you. All of y'all know I am rooting for you to have the regular life, but I can't live that for you, and I can't choose that for you. So with that being said, you have to choose that with your mindset, and that mindset is something you're going to have to work on day in, day out, second by second, moment by moment, minute by minute, because your mind will run you ragged, as y'all all know. We have all been sitting in the house and thought about how horrible this is, who we probably got it from, because a lot of us don't know. I have a clue. But at the end of the day, a lot of ladies don't know or guys doesn't, don't know who they got it from. So now you're thinking like, oh my God, was I really this? Was I really that? You know, I'm really the stigma. Am I really disgusting? Yes, I am disgusting. I couldn't believe I, you know. So you go through this self-destruction. Right? That's why when you self-destruct, like you, are you put the red example. Y'all remember we used to watch cartoons and they always had this button like, don't touch that red buddy. It would kill everything. It would blow everything up. The whole building or whatever will blow up. I feel like we push that button. We be pushing that button all over and over and over again and you blow up. You go into a depression mode. You go into panic attacks. You go into um, suicide modes. Then you come back out of it a little bit and then you go back pressing that button again and then boom, you go back into it. So my whole thing is I want y'all to stop self-destructing and I want you to stop killing yourself each and every day. My whole thing is now give yourself life each and every day and you do that with your mindset. You take the time to get around. Number one is getting around people that you love and trust. A lot of you guys don't trust people. Oh, I never met so many people who don't trust people. You don't trust your best friends. That is very concerning to me. That is very concerning to me. And I want a lot of you people who are dealing with this, I want to find out and I want you to figure out. Don't tell me. You to figure out why you don't trust the people you call best friends. Last time I, I knew, best friends are people you trusted, loved, and you told stuff to your my hidden darkest secret. My best friends know a lot of stuff. I have friends I've been friends with. My my first friend, 
my best friend. I've been knowing her since I was four, guys. I'm 27 years old. Four. Y'all see the numbers. My other one, I've been friends with her since college, okay? Another one, college. Um, another one since elementary school. So I have some people. I have best friends. A lot of people do not have them. No. So a lot of them do not have them. Um, and a lot of you guys have been through some hurt and pain with friends. And I understand that I have been through some hurt and pain with friends. But I love the people in my circle. You have to understand people come in and out of your life. And some people are there to just destroy you. And some people are there to build you up. And you got to learn how to let people go. I went through that last year and the year before that of letting people go out of my life. And it was hard. I'm still struggling with it a little bit. But at the end of the day, it is okay. Okay. Let it go. Okay. So, but. I'm learning a lot of people have people in their lives they don't trust. My whole thing is why you don't trust the people you are friends with? My whole thing is, is it you or is it them? And I come again. I'm going to always point the finger at you because you got to understand why you feel the way you do. Coffee? I'm sorry, y'all. You got to understand why you feel the way you do. Why you feel like that towards the people that you say you love and you trust. Why haven't you told them that you have herpes yet? I don't, I keep hearing, it's because I think they're going to judge me. Then why are you their friend? Why are you friends with people that you think are going to judge you? That's concerning to me. That means you have some things within your own mindset you need to deal with. And I honestly want y'all to deal with that. You should have one or two people in your circle that you can tell everything to, including this. Including this. It shouldn't be a point in your life that you don't have anybody in your circle that you can't tell your hidden darkest secrets to. If you do not have that, that concerns me. That really, really concerns me, guys. That really concerns me and I want you to really look at yourself and evaluate where you are in your life okay the next thing and I'm gonna let y'all know my husband's about to come in the house so the next thing is um really taking the time to get that support like I said if you don't have the support with friends fine y'all know I'm here for you I can't be your best friend I can't be best friends to everybody but I can give you support I do have the support group that you can become a part of on Facebook or also with our bi-weekly support groups then now you can meet women in your area or just get become friends with the ladies in the group or just have support Junior, stop sweetie next thing um, is going to support like I said it kind of went into it so my whole thing is having the support that you need have the support that you need. A lot of you guys don't have the support. So my whole thing is getting the support you need. Hey, sweetie. Okay, I'm doing a video. Huh? I'm doing a video. Okay. Cool. You doing a video? Yeah. I'm almost done. Wait. Yeah. One sec. Okay. So <laughs> y'all know me. My life is like a vlog on top of a... Uh, 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 educational thing here. I can't just stop, guys. So, with that being said, um, like I said, get the support that you need, um, through me or if you need a counselor because of the things you're going through. If you want to go through coaching, y'all know me. I got the coaching here. Do get into that. If you just want a quick session with me, and just talk to me for 45 minutes. That's available to you. My whole thing is get the support that you need. You do not have to go through this alone. But most importantly, go back to mindset. Take the time to do what you need to do. Change how you talk to yourself, guys. A lot of you talk to yourself very negatively. Y'all are very mean to yourselves. So my whole thing is doing that, and that goes into the action piece. How do you talk to you? No. How do you talk to yourself? Um, what thoughts that you allow to come into your mind and constantly remind over and over and over again? No! Um, so, what do y'all do? See, this is my family, y'all. So, what do you allow in your life um, to happen on a day-to-day-to-day-to-day -to -day -to -day -to -day basis? You can change those things. I'm not telling you it's going to happen tomorrow. I'm not going to tell you no. I'm not going to tell y'all it's going to happen overnight. But you need to take note. And I'm telling you, take note of what thoughts that you always have. And then think to yourself, why am I keep having these thoughts? And how can I change those thoughts? You change those thoughts while opening your mouth and saying, this is not true about me. I'm a loving person. I'm a great person. I'm this, I'm that, I'm that to combat the thoughts. The only way for you to get a thought to stop um, running through your mind, you got to open your mouth and say something, okay? That's the only way to stop a thought. A lot of y'all don't understand how to stop a thought. Stop a thought is opening your mouth. Open, open, say something, okay? And you need to say something positive about yourself. So my whole thing is 
is most importantly, I want y'all to kind of wrap it up. It's, this video is getting long. So with that being said, is remaining positive is really about first getting your mind together. Finding out what's in your mind, what's in your head, why are you thinking what you're thinking, okay? And then say, you know what? I, I took account on the things that I say to myself, okay? Then it's finding support. It's like I have my friends when I'm having my down moments. I have my weak moments when I'm breaking down and I can't do it myself. And then your action plan. What are you going to do to combat those thoughts? Those those words. What are you going to do when you have those down moments and you don't want to talk to nobody? What are you going to do? You need to have a game plan. A lot of y'all don't have a game plan for this. You need a game plan. I'm telling y'all, I had a game plan. I'm like, look, I'm not going to think like this, period. And I want to tell myself that I'm going to overcome this. And I told myself, I'm overcoming this. I'm going to live my life. And I got there and I lived my life. I didn't care what was going on. I said, I'm living my life. Period. And a lot of you guys got to get to that. I don't give a mode and say, I'm going to live my life. Okay? Because you have the ability to live your life. A lot of y'all are allowing this to control you. And it doesn't have to. This is not the end. I promise y'all, it's not the end. I'm sure y'all looking at my life like, oh my God, Belize, you're just lucky. Okay, I'm, I, please get over that lucky crap. Okay, please. I really want y'all to get over that because you can have what I have. The only difference is that I made a decision. I, I was positive. I, I decided to remain positive about the life that I want. If you remain negative, you're going to get more negative. If you want positive, you're going to get more positive. My whole thing is, what are you focusing on? If you focus on the negative part of this her, of, of herpes, then that's what are you going to receive? If you think about the positive, look, look. I see that Belisha is living a great life. I see other people living a great life. I can have that too. I'm going to move forward and I'm going to always tell myself, I can have what I, I want. But the thing about it, you're going to have setbacks. I'm not going to tell you you're not going to be rejected. I'm not going to tell you that you're not going to have down moments or arguments or people throw stuff in your face. I'm not going to say that's not going to happen. It happens. But my whole thing, are you going to be so scared of that stuff may be happening that you will not live your life? Or if that stuff did happen, are you still going to allow that to control you and never do nothing again? Y'all allowing one situation to tear your whole life up. My whole thing, you living in one moment. Move on. Like, you have to move forward. A lot of y'all want to stay stuck. I really do believe that sometimes some of y'all want to stay stuck i don't know why you want to stay stuck i don't know why do you want to stay here but i want you to understand you gonna have to work if you thought if you thought this wasn't gonna be work you about to learn that you're more important you need to work for yourself a lot of us have not invested in ourselves a lot of us have not worked hard or fought for us as hard as we ever have fought you're gonna have to fight for your own sanity and you're gonna have to fight for your own life nobody can truly fully help you do that we, I can guide you through, I can give you tips, I can give you support, but you're going to have to do the end. You're going to have to put on all the effort and all the energy and all of that. I cannot do that for you. You have to do that. The only difference is now you have the support of somebody who did it already, okay? So with that being said, guys, I want you to remain positive in 2017. I'm not telling you, and I'm going to say this again, I'm not going to tell you you're not going to have setbacks. I'm not going to tell you it's not going to be hard. It's not going to be hard. But I want to tell you that, most importantly, you need to change your mindset. You have to. You have no if, ands, buts. You must. You must get the support you need, which I have already offered you a hundred times plus some. My whole thing is taking advantage of it. And then the last thing is taking the actions. I give y'all action plans. Most importantly, if you want to talk to me, set up a session and we'll get an action plan together. No excuses. Get an action plan together. Figure out what's going on with you. I can pull out some of those thoughts that you have. I said, let's write it down. Let's get those thoughts out. And now let's get an action plan that you will put in each and every day so we can combat these things and for you to remain positive and have the life that you want to live. I love you guys. Y'all absolutely know I love y'all. I do this over and over again with my yelling kids, my husband over here and all that stuff. I do this anyway, okay? So with that being said, I want you to combat these things. You have to. You got to remain positive. I want you to remain positive. Please remain positive, guys, because I'm telling you, this stigma can take you out if you allow it. If you allow it. Don't hear the, the stigma can take you out. I want you to hear. You can. You can. It's up to you. It's really up to you, but you have to allow it. So with that being said, I love you guys. Y'all know where I am. If you need a session with me so you can learn those um, thoughts that you're dealing with because you think you can't do it yourself, I'm here. If you need an action plan, I'm here. If you need a coach or support, I'm here. Get a support group. I love you guys, and I'll be talking to you soon.